I'm Lieutenant Kyle Hyatt with California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and what we're doing today is we're raising a 47-foot sailboat that's sunk. We're working with uh, Sonoma County Sheriff's Department and the U.S. EPA on funding the boat, the boat raising. Then we're going to take it down to the Army Corps' yard. So the process of the work today is uh, we had a salvager come out this morning. They started about 7:30 this morning, um, setting up. They had to set up their boat, and then they've been working on getting a line underneath the boat so that they can hook flotation devices underneath the boat, some airbags. So once they get the lines underneath, they get the airbags down, they'll fill the air in the bags and theoretically the boat will rise up and start floating in the water. One of the things, the concerns that we had with this boat is that it's a, a navigational hazard. There's a lot of people using recreation on the river. We have uh, crews going up and down, a lot of fishermen and hunters that go up and down this river at night and they can't see this hazard. So getting this out of the water is really critical for safety of the boaters in that area. There's a potential in this boat. I think that there's a, a 100 gallon fuel tank at least. It might be a 200 gallon fuel tank on this boat and it was diesel powered. So if that route was released, there's, there's shorebirds. This is a wetland area. There's there are a whole bunch of shorebirds and there's, there's nesting shorebirds in this area. So that, that would have a catastrophic you know, impact depending on what time of year it is. Um, this, this flushes in and out every day with the uh, tides. So it would be very hard to control. So if there was a spill, the current goes really fast and setting up booming to control that is very difficult. So more than likely it would have contaminated a few miles at least, maybe all the way down to San Pablo Bay.